Hello everyone, my name is Bjorn and welcome back to Atomic Heart. So right now I have done some upgrades, a couple of things. So for my weapon, I went ahead and increased its damage. So it would um, pack a lot more punch into Access it. Access granted. And I've also upgraded my character's armor, which now allows me to have better resistance to physical damage, elemental damage, and also grants me an additional dodge charge. So I think what that means is I can like do a double dash and then before it charges up on as you can see on the bottom left. So I'm really excited to try these things out and I'll be happy to show everyone how we can like face up against our next batch of enemies. Yeah. It's time for us to head on to the next area. Gather all of these items. Okay. All right, I think we forgot about the the candle, right? We needed that. Then I use the other candle that we previously had. Grab that. Oh shoot. And there you have it. Internal PEC 4 power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. Okay. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. This is an area which we haven't been to yet. Okay, so there's one enemy right there that's not enough. Okay. Before I head there, I should... Holy shit! Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Oh man. Smoking related issues have been especially intense since the war. And Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help huh. two-thirds of some So this mutation was just because of the uh, tobacco thing? Years. What? Damn. That sucks. You heard about the thing they grew in the germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? It's just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. Hmm. They even took a whole tank of PA-400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. For sure. Ah, it should be fine if they keep spraying it. And now you're not fine. We're all effed. Okay, so let's over Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Oh, I stepped. Is that like a 
Ah, shit. Okay, I'm a bit lost now on where I need to go. Maybe I should finish this one spot first before heading to these other areas. So since I'm over here, I think it's best if I open the door that's right over here. Then let's take care of these zombie looking fellas. Oh, we can open doors. How the hell did that open on its own? Freaking ah, critters. There is this no place way is just more and more fucked up. Let's stop kill these guys then. Ah, ew! Ouch, ouch! Alright, that almost got me. At least we're fine now. Right. Yeah, I like the idea of fast moving. Like, you know. The idea of being able to get inventory items just by holding a button. I think it's a good mechanic to have. Jeez, how many of you are there? I'm stuck, I'm stuck. But that's fine. At least it's done now. Okay. I think my weapon upgrade really was a good idea to do, and I got to this point. Come get some. Oh no, I lost it. You're flying around. What the hell? What the hell, man? What the hell are you? Is that a is that a rogue robot? Sons of bitches. Okay. I can talk to you. Hey! Can you finish? Hey. Yeah. Can you finish? What the? Just, just, hey. What? Medic? The entire oh, facility geez. has gone tits up. And who knows where the rescue team can are going to be hit again, anyway. Anyway. Uh, what? What makes you think the whole place is gone? Tits up. If this happened in Babylon alone, people from other complexes would be here Stop already. Right, right, right. Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, uh, okay? There were three good of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot that... Right. Now, just be quick. It hurts. Uh... Hmm. I think I might have an option to either help him or just do a melee attack and get things over with. Okay. Better be better. Oh shoot, cuts him. It's like an armadillo. Shit, that hedge has lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. Harmless? Harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm Why not the hell sure. do we need a robot like that? I don't like have that. access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Fading data. Okay, I guess we need to go down here, huh? Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh. Interesting we have a cutscene like that.
Oh, hey man. Let's grab your parts. Why can't I just grab it from inside you while you're still alive? That would make things a whole lot easier. Ow! Oh, that was bad. Very bad. And you're now decapitated. Something over there. Oh, finally, someone new to talk to. An alive one, too. New? Be mm. sure. See that dead body? That's what I'd say. The technician the us. thing is. About 20 minutes ago. Sort of went out of him. Right, that was big gibberish. Huh. What do you mean what one out? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Kind of In the dead people being so chatty. Ah. Was anyone drowned? There's plenty of victims. But they go. But all of them were assisted. They were coming to work. Comrade William Beckoff. He was young. Still holding on his feet. Yeah. Okay. So long. These canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One yep. could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully specific. Have. Oh! 35 days? I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed... Oh wait, sorry for interrupting. Engineer. Should I kill this one? That's a lot of good parts. Is there like an infinite amount of you? You're like the fifth one. Like this. Okay, let's forget about that one for now. Let's head on out. Go to main objective. I'm gonna 
go do a polymer. Swim, swim, swim. Someone talking to me. Save, huh? Starting to feel like a boss is coming. Authorization. All right. So this feels like a boss. Maybe we're gonna fight against that hedgehog robot thing. Seeing as they have deliberately set up and upgrading a save point that is not inside the usual rooms. So I'm gonna stop from here. And um, thank you so much for watching, sticking through up to this point. And I'm really thankful for those that would um, help support this channel. And please uh, continue to uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you around under the next video. Have a good day. Bye!